Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a very interesting aspect, something that we have uh, devised uh, known as the 3E theory when um, evaluating and building your web presence. Let's take a look. Number one, expectations. It's very important that you clearly list out expectations A of the customer and B your expectations from the customer when he visits your website. This is often overlooked. Yeah, we really tend to focus on B on how we want the user to look at our website based on our assumptions without really understanding what his expectations could be. Therefore, do a very neutral kind of a survey, review, get people to write down expectations of customers or your potential viewers of what they would expect from your website. Make your list, see where the match points are. Once that is done, we move to number two, which is experience. Now, based on this match, and based on the gaps that we have identified in the customer's expectations and our expectations, we have to create the experience on the website so that the customer's requirements are matched and you couple it up in such a way that you would want to navigate your viewer based on your expectations. Isn't that great? Right? So build this experience and then we move on to the third one which is the entry and the exit on how you would want him to enter your website and how you would want him to exit your website yeah so by entry I mean you would define your uh, search phrases you would define your uh, context in such a way that only the relevant visitors would want to enter because you certainly don't want to spend your time addressing irrelevant traffic, right? So that's where the entry part of it and the exit part of it is where what kind of actions you would want the user to take. Whether he wants to fill a form, wants to call you, wants to download something or maybe buy directly from your website. So that's the kind of exit uh, expectations or exit criteria that you can define. Now once this is done, you have to constantly monitor on how the entry and exit is happening based on how you want the user to flow and how the user is actually flowing. Is it dropping halfway through or is he leaving at a particular stage in the process or he is completing the entry to exit flow as desired. This will give you a very clear idea of whether your expectations and the customer's expectations are matching. Identify the gaps, make the corrections in the experience, define entry and exit again, keep fine tuning and you will see that the expectations at both ends, once they are met, your business will automatically have very relevant leads and your business will grow to the next level. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or queries for us, do write to us on the email shown on your screen. Do not forget to subscribe us on YouTube and also like us on Facebook. And until next time, bye bye.